So guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robbie Craig of the Flip Flop Flipper, and I'm here with my friend Chris Rivera. And so we're going to talk about mindset, and we're going to talk about our upcoming mastermind that we're going to launch here very shortly. And so we just did another podcast, Chris and I, and we kind of touched on this subject, and it was pretty powerful. You were clearly emotional about your experience with this kind of stuff, and we'll get into that. And it was emotional for me, yeah. and, and it, these kind of events that happen in life can be so impactful and they're available to everyone and so i just wanted to sit back down with you again and go deeper into uh, your experience with masterminds your experience with sort of getting to the place where you had the courage to go out on your own and become an entrepreneur and all of that stuff and i, and I know it's going to be a great conversation so you guys buckle up <laughs> and welcome back Chris. thank you thank you i believe mindset has changed my life yeah, I'm positive, you know. I was raised in a very religious family. My father is a deacon of Catholic Church. So God has always been present. And the word faith has always been present. Mm -hmm. But not the experience of faith. Because you can learn something in your head but not feel that. And faith is certainty. Is believing without a doubt that 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 you're thinking of is real. Right. Right. You, you don't see it yet or you, you can't touch it, but you know it. And we talk about faith a lot when we talk about God, but we don't talk about faith when we think about the goals, mm. what we want in life. And there's my... my, my Coach April Garcia says all the time that there's a formula for success, and that is faith, focus, and energy. Faith, focus, and energy. Faith times focus times energy. Sometimes we are very good at something, but we don't do all the process that it requires for us to be able to make something happen. Mm -hmm. And there's hundreds of reasons why we don't do the things there <laughs> that we have to. And, and you know what? It only takes one reason or one belief for you to not ever do those things, right? Like, so we have, as, as humans, a, a series of limiting beliefs. We're, we're crippled with limiting beliefs. I am, you are, and I'm a very forward thinking and positive and can do and do believe and i believe there's greatness inside of people and i have limiting beliefs Lots everybody of loads of them everybody. and other people they get crippled by them I, and i've been crippled by them too so it only takes one limiting to belief to cripple you right it's a mastery of your mindset that that allows you to have the courage to step outside of the systems that are put in place and, and as humans and we were talking about this off camera a little bit as humans we're not necessarily designed to have wealth and to have success we're designed to not be eaten right and remember i mean we we exist before money did before yeah and we existed before houses yeah and cars and all that so we were not designed to none of that stuff right i mean god gave you gave us intelligence and we have been able to create this wonderful world that mm -hmm. we live in, but also this sad world, world where we're living. Yeah. Because we are the creators of a lot of great things and a lot of sad things, mm -hmm. right? And it all depends on where we are putting our minds and our focus in our life. Yeah, yeah. And uh, our brain is designed to be careful. Mm. We, we, if, if a tiger was nearby or you could hear a tiger, you, you were afraid. Yeah. The purpose of fear you hide. You is to survive. Keep, keeps you safe. Fear keeps you safe. Keep you safe. Yeah. But it can also be debilitating. It will be if you keep fearful. Hmm. Because we have the power to decide how we're going to deal with the fear. And that's where many times we freeze. We don't take a decision. We let fear hide us. And we don't take action. We don't make the phone call 
we don't ask for the money we don't pitch the deal we don't because we are yeah. we are fearful of Oh no, that's too expensive. That's too dumb. Or that's too. Yeah. You don't know what you're doing. Or you don't have experience. You're gonna be or, rejected. You're gonna be laughed at. You're gonna fail. The, oh, listen, we could go on and on, right? Like <laughs> there, there's a billion reasons why you can't do something. So and when you and when you believe, or you put your faith in the I can't, then it's absolute. You never will. And once you believe, and understand that every single failure and every single no and every single you stupid is a step forward what you want to do yes the meaning of every no yes is positive that's right that's so funny so that <laughs> reminds me i had an ugly friend and he dated way above his grade right in, in college like he's going out with all these and i said hey how do you date all these beautiful women you're not special you're not smart <laughs> you're not super anything and he says i asked him I asked every one of them, and so some one, of them say yes, yes you know. Exactly. <laughs> Keep and, asking. And I'm telling you, he's an ugly guy, right? He's dating way above his league because he knew that every no meant that the next one was more likely to say yes. <laughs> exactly. And and you can apply that to anything, right? Like So anything. I, I say it to be kind of funny and comical, but the truth is we believe on this channel that you can step outside of broken systems and you don't have to remain an employee if you don't want to. You can become a business owner or you can do anything that you want, right? Like you, you're, you've got it inside of you. It's letting it out. And there are ways to do that. Like you, you go to Tony Robbins or you've told me that you've yeah. gone to Tony mm -hmm. Robbins and he unleashed something in you. And yep. he even talks about it. It's called Unleash the Power Within. I think Unleash. I've been to that. Yes. Guy. Walked across the hot coals. Yes. It's amazing. That guy's freaking. We are he's got a fire walkers. We're fire walkers. Yeah. <laughs> Beating our chest. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's been proof over and over and over again that we are capable of doing things that people never thought were possible. Yes. And uh, today with technology and information and YouTube and, and everything yes. that is out there, there's hardly a good excuse not to do something that you, you know, want we're, to do. We're smarter now than we've ever been oh, because yes, of these definitely. cell phones. Yeah. I, one's charging over there, but you can literally have all of the knowledge in the world at, at your fingertips. And if you don't know it, you can look it up pretty damn quick. There's so much information and stuff available to people that weren't available to us when we were younger. Yep. And people still use excuses and, and still use, allow limiting beliefs to trap them into this I can't mindset. And uh, it's a shame, right? It's a shame that there's so much there that's for the taking. But we, because of something, a voice inside of us, many people will never step outside of a system that they hate they'll continue to go to the job that they despise right they'll they'll stay in situations where they're not happy because they're afraid uh, well and and uh, fear is good i have to emphasize mm -hmm. that for something to be worth it it must make you fear um faith uh, oh yeah you, how you call it uh, uh fearful fear Fearful. You must, you must be a little fearful. You must be. There, there's got to be some, some risk nervousness, to it. Some, some nervousness. Yeah. Why? Because nothing easy is worth it. Nothing. Yeah, if you don't have some pain to get to it, what's the excitement of it once you've got it? Except breathing. Yeah, but breathing you don't get an exhilaration from. Exactly. I, I guess if you exist, if, if you're trapped under the swimming pool and you come up and you get that breath, you right. get some exhilaration. But <laughs> most of the time, we breathe, right? But if you want something done in your life, it's going to cost. Yes. If you're going to want a good marriage, it's going to cost. If you want a good job, it's going to cost. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a good doctor, it's going to cost. If you want to be a great swimmer yeah. or a sport person, a six pack abs. It's going to yeah. cost. Yeah. If you want to be healthy, yeah. it's going to cost. That's right. And that is where I believe the majority of the people are. Being comfortable, it's easier. Mm. 
They don't want to pay the price. They want to pay. They the may price. want it. They, they dream about it. They think about so it. So I mean, they, they don't. They don't ever take the action and take the risk. We do all these network events, right? Sometimes I do four events in one week, and I'm tired. I don't want to go. Mm -hmm. I want to stay home. Mm -hmm. I want to watch a movie with my daughter. Yeah. But I know my business happens in the network events. When I meet people, something happens. Oh, that's that's so true. And for me, one of my superpower is to talk with people. Mm -hmm. I go, I'm good at it. I like it. I enjoy. I love to serve. If I can help you, I will. And that helps me to do business. Mm -hmm. But, and when I go, I go without any intentions besides meeting people, see you again. Hey, how you doing? How's Linda? And, you know, yeah. be us. Yeah. But we are doing business together. After two years. But let's, you, you came to events at my house for the right. breakfast for, for, for months, right? Mm -hmm. You would show yeah. up pretty regularly. Yeah. And we did those events every weekend for at least a year, maybe a year and a half. Probably. And because we did that, we're going to do business together. But I think both of us showed up at, at those breakfasts with the same idea. It was yeah. it was not that, hey, today I'm going to meet Chris and we're going to do a deal together. Exactly. It's, today I'm going to meet Chris and hopefully I'm going to be able to provide something of value for Chris. And Chris comes and he's, hopefully I'm going to be able to meet some good people and serve them. And, and eventually we're going to do some business together. That's That's the mindset I think that, that and I you, have. When and I if you don't make events. business, you meet people. Yeah. Because yeah. you always learn something. I mean, we were created to be together. Mm. We are born as water falls from the rain. Each one individually. Mm -hmm. And they meet all in the ocean. Mm. We, are, we belong to each other. Yeah. There's no reason to exist if we are not going to coexist. So, so we're better in community. Always. Always better in community. Always better in community. Yeah. And that happens in business community. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we talk about a lot in our mastermind is who is in your board of directors. And that is who are the people who are influencing you. Okay. Why? Because if we don't choose with who we're going to be around the world is going to choose for you oh yes and bad news for you it's not going to be good people yeah there's always negativity around yes and you have to be conscious in what you put in your mind what you put in your eyes and you put in your ears mm. if you don't that if you don't do that purposely then something else will. Yeah. Automatically. If you decide to choose Netflix instead of a business meeting or church or yoga or whatever is going to be good for you, mm -hmm. then... Yeah, if you don't go to the gym and you stay home and watch TV and eat a Snickers, that's... And that's your life. That's your life. And yeah. that's your life. And since then... I choose with who I spend my time. Right. I choose purposely. I have great friends that I don't spend time with. Mm. Good friends. I mean, he, he needs my lung. I'm going to give it to him. But I don't spend time with him. Why? He's not in, my, in, in the same mindset. He's not walking my same. We have different marriages. And, and I spend a different time of of life with my wife and he's you know yeah you need to choose you're, you're going him. different places different places you're going different places he's your great friend but you're going different places and my father is a beautiful human being but he he has no hunger he has never has he's we are completely different I have more my mom mindset hmm. I love my dad to death I go and see him every week I take him to the hospital I'll do whatever But he's not in my board of director mm -hmm. because we think differently. Right. And love is one thing. Life is another. Mm -hmm. I must love him. It's my responsibility. I don't have to agree with him. And, and if I know 
that his belief is different than mine and it's not going to help me to grow. I love you, but I don't agree with you. Yeah. So how did you get to this place? What, what do you have to go through uh, in the order first to, thing, to realize well, this? Well, this, this, this has been a 15 years process. Mm. It started with the movie The Secret. I don't think I've ever seen the movie The Secret. Well, it's in Netflix. You should see it. Really? Okay. I'll watch it's it. It's very old. The Secret, created by a woman that I remember her name now. The Secret is the book, The Secret, yes. and the movie, The yes, Secret. Yes, and, the same. And goes back to probably originally, like, Think and Grow Rich. Was yes. like one of the very first The Secret type. Yes, uh, exactly. Okay. I I had a girlfriend. This was, this was before my marriage. It's oh, more than 15 years, maybe 17. And her brother gave him gave her the movie in a DVD that we don't have now. Yeah. You must see this. So we saw it together. And I fall in love with it. And I bought the book and I bought the audio. Mm -hmm. And every day I was listening to the... I, I got into that. In 2008, I started working with the events. And I was doing an event in Ponce. Bored as hell waiting for... The, the TVs and the, you know, everything that you have to put together for the events. So I'm just waiting for people and I have my computer and Facebook was starting and a friend of mine who's a big MLM multimedia, you know, multi-level business guy posted a video of Jim Ron and some other guy who, who interviewed him. Jim Ron was Tony Robin mentor. Jim, Jim is amazing. I, I, I love to I listen love. to him speak. Long story short, I bought my first self-development kit from Jim Brown. Huh. And it was a 24-hour uh, seminar on CDs and audio. Mm -hmm. And I saw that thing every day until I finished and I did my notes. And that's how it started my hunger to know more about because I have I did always felt not enough, not capable, poor. You know, I had a very low self-esteem. You felt the way we all have felt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Every human. I, I, it, who it, hasn't it, felt not exactly. enough, poor? I mean, all that stuff. come on. Yeah. We, we've all been there. So that's how it started. Mm -hmm. And looking for more stuff about Jim, I found Tony Robbins. And then I start listening to Tony all the time and buying some um, tapes on that time and, and CDs. And and I always dreamed with going to Tony Robbins. Ten years later, I don't know how many years later. We took a loan to fix the, the kitchen and some other stuff. And I'm always going to the website of Tony Robbins and seeing stuff. And I text to my wife my wonderful wife <laughs> and I says and I said why we don't do something crazy on text and she mm -hmm. said she says what why we don't go and see Tony Robbins and she says okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's how we went to the first Tony Robbins event that's the one where you walked on fire and yes all that stuff Unleash the Power Within uh -huh. December 2018 I fall in love with it. We go together, which is also another blessing. And I encourage everybody that if you're able to go with your partner, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever, with the intention of living a life together, if you can do that together, Knowing the language of self-development is crucial when the other person understands this too, understands mm -hmm. that too. Because when it when they doesn't, you don't get the support. So my wife has been very supportive about everything that I've been doing because she lived with me on Lift the on Lift the Power. Mm -hmm. And uh I did that one. And doing the line. Waiting for the registration. I, we got there the first, the, the day before the event. And the line was outside the Coliseum. I mean, it was a huge line. And I said to my wife, we're going to be here 
four or five hours. I mean, this is absurd, absurd you know. We go in line, and there's a lady giving uh, flyers. I see the flyer put in my pocket. And then the line start walking and, and very fast. This is strange. And, and I'm doing events, so I know I know how that runs. Yeah. We are in and out in 45 minutes with the bottle, the book, the registration, the tag, everything from the outside. Hmm. I'm, oh my God, this is another level of events. Mm. So now we have nothing to do. So I remember my flyer. And it was this mingling event, free food, no alcohol. And I say, well, let's go to this. And that's how I met Mark, who has this company that does these masterminds. Long story short, I enroll. When I came back to Puerto Rico, he gave me a call. He did his speech. I said, let's do it. And I started the mastermind back in 2018. And he assigned April Garcia, who's a business advisor. And because he's more into the mindset, religion, God mindset. So he, he because I was in business and real estate and all that stuff, he decided that April was going to be my coach. I met Mark on that day, and Mark comes to Puerto Rico with David. David is the security head, or was, of Tony Robbins. Wow. That's how connected this guy is. Mm -hmm. And they come to the event, and they come to Paso Caribe, where I was doing um, events. Mm -hmm. They wanted to do a mastermind in Puerto Rico. So they were asking, looking for an event guy who will help. I, wa I wanted to do business mastery in August. This, wa this was March. So I went to Day with Destiny in December. I mean, Unleash the Power within in December. They come to Puerto Rico in March. And in August is business mastery. And I said, I want to do this event in, in August. I said, you, you should not do that. And I say, why? And he said, Dave, explain him why. And he said, you're going to learn some, st some things in Day with Destiny that you're going to need in Business Mastery. And if you go to Business Mastery without doing Day with Destiny, you're going to be a little lost. Okay. Next Day with Destiny is in December. Now, I'm making very little money. Comes summer. And I'm going inside uh, Tony Robbins' website all the time, looking at the tickets to see if they go in a special, something like that. Mm -hmm. In summer, I got my credit fixed, and I'm building my credit and everything, you know, and I had a, a better job, and I had an increase in salary and all that stuff. And the Tony Robbins people calls me. Oh, no, before that, I separated my Airbnb did my Airbnb for that event for the day with destiny. Oh, you, you got your Airbnb right. set aside. You're, you're ready to go. So I pay for it. Yeah. Now I don't have an airplane ticket and I don't have the event ticket. Mm -hmm. And I, dis and I said, if I go to day with destiny, I must sit in diamond. I'm not going to sit in the back. <laughs> I want to be in the front. <laughs> It's $7,500 a ticket. Wow. I have a zero. But I bought the room. You're going. I'm going. Yeah. And I'm going every day or every week inside the website to see the tickets. One day, one of the salespeople from Tony Robbins calls me. Hey, Chris, how are you doing? I see that you've been logging in the, in the website. And yeah, yes. I said, yes, I'm going to Day with Destiny. Are you? I said, yes, I'm going. So he's in silence. He says, I don't see your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said I was going, not that I bought the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so he laughed and he said, hey, you have a good attitude. I'm happy to be. How can I help? Well, I don't have the $7,500 um, $7, now. Man, let me see what, what can I do. I'll give you a discount. I can give it to you for $6,000. Wow, that's a discount. I'd love to, but I don't have $6,000. I said, I want to help you. I want you to go. I said, I'm going. I'm going. 
but I don't have the money right now. He said, what can I do for you? And I said, I just got my first American Express card. I have $2,000 credit and I just got a raise. I'm able to pay $2,000 a month if you allow me to pay in three payments. And he said, I can do that. So I ask and I receive. Yeah. I did my first payment, $2,000, pay my card, pay another payment, and, and that's what I did. And, and I kept looking for a ticket until I found a $286 round trip to go to the plane ticket. Plane ticket. Where was Date with Destiny? Was in Florida. In Florida. West Miami, Palm Beach. West Palm, yeah. And uh, I did my first event. And that's where I met Brian, a good friend of mine in Canada. I was going to take a bus and a train every day back and forward because I was staying in a cheap, Airbnb, way, too far. A little ways away. Don't have a rental car. <laughs> and uh, I love the determination. You're, it, it's you're, key. You're determined. You're going. And you're, you're doing it. That's so, what so many people lack. And I, and I don't mean to derail your story, so no, I no. want to get back to it. But when people have it easy, they don't need it as much, right? Like, so you're determined and you're going. That determination is why you're who you are. It's why you're able to do some things. It's why other people that are going to see this are gonna be able to do stuff as well, right? It's not because they're smarter or they've born with a silver spoon in their mouth. In fact, I think those things can hinder many, many people. I, I think they really do, right? Like the idea that, that you have it easy means that it's always gonna be easy. That's just not true. I, I'd rather be in business with people like you mm -hmm. or my business partner, Dave McCallie, whose story is unbelievably difficult as a young person, and, and he's been amazingly successful. But people who don't have it easy can find a way to get to a place where it looks like they just did everything so easy. Do you know what I mean? Perfectly. But they are usually miserable. What's that? They are usually miserable. Yeah. Because if you don't pay the price... You've got to pay the price, yeah, in order to... to feel good about it and, and have that accomplishment. Yeah. So I go to the event. I met Brian. Ma Brian gives me a, a ride back and forth. We become a very good friends. So we share all the intimacies that they with Destiny make you talk about and, and, and realize. And uh, he invited me to Business Mastery a month later. And my, I was already pumped when I got out of Day with Destiny. And, and going to Business Mastery a month later. So $10,000 event. Mm. And this guy says, my friend is not going. I want to make sure that whoever I invite will take advantage of it. I want you to go. Mm -hmm. So I go there. Obviously, I pay, for the, I pay for the food and the hotel. This time, I stay all day in the hotel in front. So we don't have to drive. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we split a little bit of the cost. He bought the ticket. You he, split some other costs. So you, yeah, I paid the hotel. Yeah. I paid all the food. And, then, you know, everything else I paid. Which yeah. is, I mean, he, he paid $5,000 for mine. Yeah. Um, and when when I came back, I didn't I, I didn't have the my real estate license yet. But I decided to burn the boats. I was not going to be able to make it if I didn't make myself do it, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I resigned. Yeah. I resigned. I was tired of it, being a slave. Yeah. And I'm free. And oh, I'm my own praise, boss. Praise the Lord, right? <laughs> we love Lord. that. That is awesome. <laughs> I, that's inspiring to me. I, um, I, I just love to hear these stories of people who get out of – what I call broken systems. Yep. So we, we talk about all of the systems that are set up in our lives are meant to keep us in a box. Yes. And then we are internally designed that it's really easy for us to believe that we should stay in the box. And it's safer. It's safer in the box. That's, that's what school is about. That's what getting a job is about. That yep. All of this stuff is meant to keep us happy with less and, and keep us safe. And so... I just love to hear of anybody who gets outside of that and, and gets their freedom. And you said it. You, you used the word that we on this channel love, this word freedom. 
And, and we work harder. I think we do. We work harder, longer, harder, longer take more risk. Anxiety, I mean, yeah. comes up with, with a lot of stuff that you yeah. have to be willing to, but it also comes with a lot of reward. Yes. And every time you 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 make something happen, and it's your effort, and and a new relationship, a new deal, yeah, or you know anything that happens good for you or your family, yeah, you know, um, the impact that you create with your kids, they yeah. see you doing something. They say, "Well, my dad made it happen." Your 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 friends even. Your, your fr your, yes, your, your, I don't know yes. if you've had this experience, but I I certainly yes. did. As I did what I was doing when I was younger starting in business, many of my friends looked at me and they're like, damn, the how is that guy doing? You know? And, <laughs> and, and then years later, many of my friends would start to become entrepreneurial. And I, and I have, I have a lot of friends that I grew up with and we didn't, we didn't grow up dirt poor, but we certainly weren't rich. And I think I have a disproportionate amount of pretty well off mm -hmm. friends that were, were really close friends that, and and I don't want to take credit for anything because they, they, I have friends that have done way more than me and are way smarter, way more successful. But I was probably the first. I was, I was the first to be an entrepreneur. I was the first to do a lot of things, right? Like I, I was wired a little bit differently. Like you said, you, you think differently than your mm -hmm. father. Yeah. I thought very differently than my father. He got his security in a job. He got his security in staying in one place and not taking risk. I always liked this looking in the mirror and knowing if I eat today, it's because I did it, right? I and that was where I got my security. It wasn't because I, I went and did a chore for somebody else and they decided whether or not I got to do the chore tomorrow or not. Exactly. I, I hated that. Yeah, I hated that. <laughs> Doing chores for other people. For me, yeah. it was like a living hell. I was, <laughs> I was, and, and I was a terrible employee because I'm resentful. Uh, you know, I just, I, I hated it. But to your point, I step out, I, I become an entrepreneur. I think I work 10 times, 20 times harder than I would if I had stayed in the chores and just done the job. Definitely. You know, definitely. Uh, but I have freedom. I have this sense of freedom. And I know. And I and this is a weird sense of security. When when things are bad for me, I know that I have the ability to go out and make a change and and to make it right. Uh, and so I just get my security in a different place than than many people do. So I don't know where I'm going with that, but I there, there's something in this mindset that you get to as an entrepreneur, where you you learn about yourself that you have the ability and you have freedom and you and you can work the long hours. Like I, I can work 12 hours. And I'm oh, not tired. 12 is I'm nothing. If I work 12 hours doing day. chores for someone else, though, well, you'll be. I'm exhausted. And, and, and tired. <laughs> and, and hated. And hated. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. Definitely. Uh, and, and so our, our YouTube channel, and why do we have this conversation, right? So we're going to launch a mastermind. Are we going to be as powerful as Tony Robbins was for you? Well, I, Listen. I hope we are for one I, person. Exactly. That yeah. was what I was saying. We will be for somebody. For somebody. I hope so. I, I mean, that, that's our that's the prayer, right? Like that's why I've done thousands of videos on YouTube where I don't get paid for this stuff. We don't make any money with YouTube, and we spend a lot of money to do it. But I'm passionate about it. I'm truly passionate about the people who ever see me. Uh, and part of it is I want to leave a legacy for my grandkids and my grandkids' kids and yeah. so on. And by putting out this content, there's a pretty good chance that, you know, 100 years from now, well, 50 years from now, I'll definitely be gone. And there will, there will be someone who hopefully will look at that and go, hey, that was my grandfather. That was my we'll great grandfather. Be, we'll be Jim Rohn for someone else. Uh, even if it's just my grandkids, <laughs> right? Even if it's just that they, they know one, yeah, okay, yeah. he was a businessman or or. Actually, first, he believed in Jesus Christ, and so that was a big yep. part of his life. He was a businessman. He was a family man. He was a husband. He was a father. That's important. That legacy is important to Definitely. me. Definitely. The legacy of, of lifting people up and bringing them alongside of us, that's why we partner with people. That's important to us, right? That's, that's the kind of thing that we want to live into, and that's why we want to do a mastermind with people, right? It's, it's not because we need to do a mastermind to put food on the table. We want to do a mastermind so that people can – shift their mindset yes yes <laughs> and get outside of these broken systems and i just want to encourage everybody that 
anyone can do this, right? Like this is not something that you have to have a ton of money for. You don't have to be super smart. You, you don't even have to be super like skilled and, and a really special person. Well, you just and, have to and believe And skill it. would happen with time and effort. That's true. You yeah. know, nobody is born with skills. That's right. You develop the skills. Of course, some people are musicians, some people are players, some people oh. are, you know, everyone has a gift. I, I know. I love But it needs to be skills. developed. Yes. It needs to be developed. You didn't, uh, you, you were not born knowing how to play basketball. No. Someone teach you how to play basketball. That's right. Right? That's right. And of course, I'm positive we can teach someone or we can share what we know mm -hmm. in a mastermind and also let people see and understand that everyone will go at a different pace. A different pace. Yeah. Because one of the negative things about social media is the false belief that everybody's successful, that oh. everybody's making money, yeah. and that everybody's doing it fast. Yeah. And that is not true. Right. I'm 54 today. I'm starting to make it happen, mm -hmm. you know? And I have a book started that's called Starting at 50. Because n life is, has nothing to do with age. Right. It's about what you decide to do with the future. Yeah. That's yeah, it. That's right. So I congrats you in, in deciding to do a mastermind. I know you have a lot to give. It's going to help a lot of people. I'll uh, for sure be in with you in the mastermind. I, uh, I'm a soccer for coaching and, and learning mm -hmm. and reading books. And I know that. And we can share a lot of information to help people. Well, and I think our mastermind won't be for everybody, right? Like, yeah. so our mastermind is going to be geared towards entrepreneurism, geared towards real estate investing. And I think if there's anything that I could tell someone who's interested in our mastermind ahead of time, before we've even started it, in my opinion, our mastermind won't be a success unless the people in the mastermind actually do some stuff together, start some businesses, buy some real estate, Or at the very least, if we all come to a place where we have businesses, then I'm going to go to your restaurant and I'm going to eat your food or I'm, I'm going to yeah. invite you to stay in one of my Airbnbs. But we're, we're going to live into uh, helping each other and their businesses thrive. But for me, really, I'm always more interested in, in the act of doing stuff than I am in learning about a whole bunch of stuff. Like, yes. I, I love to learn but I learn more by doing like that's, that's the way I'm wired is that I could read the books and you could teach me. Uh, I can even remember my father teaching me that things like, Hey, the stove is hot. Don't, don't touch the stove. And I've never not been able to touch the stove, <laughs> right? Like he's hey, telling me, yeah, he knows yeah. it's hot. And I'm, Oh damn, that's hot. He's like, I told you. I'm like, I know, but I just, you know, I, I, had to touch I learn by doing. And so if you're going to come into a mastermind that's put on, Uh, by us, by Robbie Craig the Flip Fly Flipper, we're going to do some shit. So you, you, you need to know that coming in. And, and if, you, if you're not interested in that, that's great. Our mastermind may not be for you, but if that does excite you, like if you have been thinking about um, starting a business or becoming a real estate investor, this could be the place for you because we're going to do it. We're going to do it together. And, and if we don't, I will not think it's a success like that. That's how I'm yeah. going to gauge whether or not we're successful is how much interaction does our, our mastermind community have together doing stuff? Experiencing. I think that for that to happen, you are going to include a lot of accountability in mm. that mastermind. Mm. That is what we do. That is my, actually my job in the mastermind. Okay. As an as a implementation coach is to be the uh, accountability guy who says, hey, you said last week that you were going to Yeah. Meet some people, did you? Right. Because accountability puts pressure. Mm -hmm. and, and if you implement that, it is healthy. If someone wants to do something, that we push a little. Yeah. Because in nature, we are not designed to do it. Mm. We have to make our kids go to school. It's good for them. Yeah. They don't want to, They go. Don't want to go. Right.
Right. But we make them. Why? Because we know it's good for them. Mm. Sometimes we have to do the same thing with adults. Okay. And if you do that, and if someone says, oh, I want to be uh, whatever, I'm going to flip the first house. And you teach the first step. Okay, then next week you're going to do this. Yes. If you come back and you didn't and you do done it, it, yeah, then you don't want to. That's right. That's right. And and too often what I've seen in, and I've been to dozens of different speakers and they all have great things. And, and they're Jerry Norton, for instance, can teach you how to flip a house and, and become a wholesaler, like probably better than anyone else on the planet. And he's got hundreds of students, tools, maybe thousands like of students. Yeah. He gives you tools. I would guess that 90% of the people who buy his stuff do nothing with it. And that's probably being very generous to the 10%. It's probably closer to 95 or 96 or 98% that really don't do anything with it. I heard Tony Robbins saying exactly that stat. Really? 90% don't do it. Don't do anything. 90% buy that. the books and don't read it. Yeah. And so I've, I've pushed back. Like people have said, why don't you sell people your process or show people because i don't want you to do my process yeah i want you to be a real estate investor i want you to be an entrepreneur i hope to encourage people to do this kind of stuff and i have no ego about it like i don't think i have the best way i'm pretty good at what i do but i, I don't think that i have the best way i'm, I'm, I'm not better than Jer jerry norton is at, at what he does he's but, very good but i would put myself in a, in yeah. a category of real estate investors that i'm I'm top shelf. Yeah, right? yeah, but of course. You don't have to do it my way. I don't. I don't care. And that's why we've never asked our YouTube channel for anything, right? Like we're not trying to sell you anything, anything. at all, right? But in in this case, there'll be a fee for the mastermind. Uh, but I think that's because there needs to be because we're yes. gonna have some expense and stuff. Not only that, people don't appreciate it free. People don't appreciate it free. Yeah, but. Even in the mastermind, the way that I think that really the money will be made is like on the cruise we went on, it will be from the deals that are done together through the mastermind. And again, if, yeah. if that doesn't turn out to be the case, I'm gonna fit, think that it didn't work out really well. I'm not gonna be happy with that. So that's that's just the way my mind works is that I I like to learn by doing and, and that's what I'm gonna encourage people to do. And, and the intention is to do that, you know, and uh... I believe this uh, old priest at the diary used to say, God writes straight in curved lines. Hmm. We don't know. If we know where the GPS pin is and we follow the GPS, yes. we'll get there. That's true. Yep. And you have a an intention. You have a pin location for your right. mastermind. Yeah. The how, the route, the curves. Yeah. The downhill. We don't know. I have an idea, an you vision. Have an idea. I have faith, I, and I and I believe we'll get there. Right. Like so that, yeah. in my life, has been my process. I'll have an idea, uh, a belief, and a, and a place that I'm going and no idea in the world how I'm going to get there exactly. until I start taking a step and taking a step. And then, and then I look back and I go, wow, that worked out. I, I wanted to go from here to here. Here I am. Now I want to go to there. And I'm always about what's next. And, and it's important that people understand that it's about the first step and the next one That's and right. not the whole plan. Yes. Because we get paralyzed yes. in the process of thinking. Every time I have a conversation with my mom, mom, we're going to do a, my brother and my sister are coming to Puerto Rico to have a family where we, all the cousins are going to be together. I said, well, I'll do this. Yeah, but what about mom? Don't give me the what about. I don't want to hear it. Yes. We'll deal with it if it shows up. Yes. And that's how it's part of our nature. Mm. And masterminds teach people to forget about the process. Take the next step. Step. Yes. And then figure it out the next one. That's right. And then and then there'll be problems. And of course, guess what? You fall. We'll learn from those exactly. problems. And then we'll get up and we'll and we'll keep going and we'll be better for it. Exactly. Look, this has been fun. This has been a great conversation. Awesome. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Give this video a like. If you're interested in joining the mastermind with Adon and Chris and McKenna and I, there's a form. 
somewhere in this description here, fill out the form. We'll get in contact with you. This is something that we're going to do soon, like right now. We're, we're, we're starting this. We've been thinking about it for a long time now, and, and now is the time. We really believe that we can we can form a mastermind where we can do some partnerships together. We can do some things. And if you're interested, we'd love to have you be part of it. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Chris, man, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. For, uh, sitting down with me for a couple of hours now today my honor to to talk and what a great conversation so i hope we're going to do this a lot uh in the future with the lares deal and Why other not? stuff yes, so we will all right guys god bless